getting you some Altoids? It wakes you up in the morning. Really? Yeah, they're intense, dude. Is that your go-to secret? Just recently. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I literally was at the gas station. I haven't had Altoids in years. And I was like, those sound good. Put one in. It was like too intense. <laughs> Yo! What up, y'all? And welcome <clears throat> back to another one. We're here. It is uh, 550. We've been sitting in the truck at the tree row for about 20 <laughs> minutes. Uh, it's running about what 40 40 degrees that real feels like 37 it says it's pretty cool this morning pretty chilly pretty, chilly. pretty nipply out here let me tell you but today we got Bradley he is what up, up he's up to bat it's my turn yeah they're already talking bad saying I'm swinging swing and miss up here so <laughs> said they're already talking bad yeah they're putting bad juju on me but you're like, the one that brought the banana yeah there's no such thing as a bad luck banana I've always heard a banana on the boat's bad luck. Well, we're not in a boat. We're in the turkey woods, so... The, I, I, can, I consider this here. a boat, sir. Anyways, uh, we're out east. Uh, I've got my bird shot, as y'all seen. G-Wagon got his bird shot, as y'all seen. Mm -hmm. So right off the bat, I'm just going to say, if you guys are liking the turkey vid, smash a thumbs up. That will let me know uh, to keep this tur turkey tour going. You were just talking about going up north to Nebraska uh, with Drewski. Yeah, with Drew. Yeah, up there where he lives, up in. I guess I don't know if I'll say where it's at, but yeah, don't say where it's at. It's That's in. A secret. It's in like northern central Nebraska, isn't it? Northern Close central. Enough. Yeah, yeah, somewhere in that facility. We'll go up there with Drewski for a weekend. Yeah. So if you guys are liking the turkey tour uh, and these videos, <clears throat> drop a comment down below and say yes. Go to Drew's. And if we get enough of them, your boy will head north and give you some more videos. These are fun. Lots of fun getting back out with the boys. It feels like the season is kind of back back at it. A little bit more laid back version of the season. A lot more laid back. <laughs> Not near as much work or decoys. So we're going to get after it here. It's going to be low light for a little bit. Uh, as the sun comes up, I'll try to film what I can. But everybody cross their fingers and hope that Bradley, I'm going to say it again, don't swing and miss. No swings and misses. <laughs> Hopefully he just gets the swing first. Yeah, true. <laughs> true. All right, let's roll. I'm not sure if you can see me or not, but we we got a uh, gobbler right ahead of us. Well, there's two. Well, Bradley, oh my goodness. <laughs> They're right there. Yeah, they are right there. Mm -hmm. We got our sitting spot, boys. We are close to this turkey. He hasn't pitched down yet, has he? No. He's still in the tree about, about 100, maybe 60. 70 yards from us. Oh, we're, ooh, there's two of them. Across this little valley, that's where he is right there. Well, that was really, really close. That was so close. Three toms over there. They moved over the ridge. Are you guys wanting to chase them or give them a break? I think I want to give them a break and we'll go look at that bird down okay. there. Darn it, Bradley, that was close. I thought that they were going to, at they one point, started, yeah, he started coming, and then, that was close. <sighs> well, we know that there's another strutter, I don't know, a couple hundred yards east of us, so we're going to make a couple hundred yard trek around the east side see if we can get them to gobble if we don't we're gonna go around get back on top of the 
this big ridge. That's where we were sitting down there. We're gonna try to uh, do a little sneak on those three toms that we were just trying to work. Man, this is awesome. I love turkey season. So much fun. Boys, I thought it was game over. When they finally turned and started coming, I thought it was too. Yeah. That one corral, the hens around. And they all started walking and I thought that was gonna be it. I thought you were getting all antsy, your legs started moving a oh, bunch. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Bradley. She jazzed <laughs> up. <laughs> getting all pumped up.
tell me when. Freddy? Oh, well, hi there, Molly. This is Molly. Y'all haven't met her yet. It's my mama's dog, and I'm babysitting for her. It literally snowed this morning. Check it out. You would not be able to tell. It's already almost, I would say, right at 50 degrees. <laughs> Kansas is crazy. It snowed this morning. Unreal. But I want to give a huge shout out to Preston because he actually filmed uh that last clip of brad shooting the turkey yeah it was uh what two days after uh the hunt that you guys just watched it was two days after uh when brad actually shot his bird but awesome footage uh you guys gotta follow preston and brad right here give them both a follow i'm glad they got that filmed because uh what an epic turkey camp that we've had you guys gotta stay tuned because the clients actually come in the next day and you just you just got to stay tuned it it gets better uh we got one more turkey hunt from turkey camp for y'all and then we got an awesome crappie fishing video uh we got an awesome bow fishing video and an awesome burning video guys got to stay tuned awesome stuff to come please 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 guys let me know what you guys want to see drop a comment down below and let your boy know because it's magnet fishing season, and I know that's what y'all want. It, like I said, it just snowed this morning. I'm waiting for it to warm up a little bit before I get my hands constantly wet all day. But magnet fishing's coming. Uh, thank you guys for being here. I hope you guys, uh, like I always say, get out there. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy hunting while you can. Uh, have good ethics. Uh, with hunting in the outdoors represent us well. Uh, I always preach that and number two Again enjoy it because just like I mentioned on the last video. I think it was times are changing y'all uh, I went to Cabela's and they're completely out of ammunition Cabela's it, They said it would be two years before their shelves got restocked So who knows what the world's gonna bring day to day get out there enjoy some shooting, some good hunting, something us humans have done since the beginning of our time, you know, something we've had to do. And it feels like it's being taken away from us and it really bothers me. So, <sighs> represent the outdoorsmen well. Um, respect your animals that you're hunting. But, subscribe if you haven't. We'll see y'all on the next one. Pessimism I've been keeping it